Road transportation consumes about 23% of the total energy in the U.S. and it contributes to about the same percentage in terms of greenhouse gas emissions. So in terms of impact, uh, there's a potential of reducing um, the greenhouse gas uh, emissions by 22%, which was um, quite large. What we've been working on is a way in which we can charge the electric vehicle while it is moving from the roadway. And that way, one, we certainly can reduce the amount of batteries we need to get whatever range we want. Uh, but also, we can have indefinite range because if we have charging ability on the road, then the vehicle can keep moving and doesn't need to either stop or doesn't need to have a really large battery to go a long range. It also saves time because now you don't have to stop to charge. So you would, in practice, have a charging lane where you'd have these charging pads on a repeated basis. And as the vehicle goes over one, it'll get charged and then it goes over the next and gets charged again. When I started looking at this um, approach, people had already started to work on magnetic field-based systems. In fact, you've probably seen these for uh, your cell phone, uh, for example. What we've been working on is the underlying technology. To get the full benefit, this technology has to be deployed in the 1950s and 60s when the interstates were built. That was a similar sort of infrastructure development. But interestingly, this is the right time to do it because um, the infrastructure in the U.S. is already aging. Uh, both at the, the roadway level as well as the grid level. And this is an opportunity where sort of the new infrastructure can be developed, taking into account the new technologies that are available today and really make it ready for the next 50 to 100 years.